everyone, welcome back to another video from Paintfield. Today we're going to show you how Emil Mig U Rust products are applied. This set includes seven different rust types and allows us to make real rust in different tones and gradients with our two different reactors. Without further ado, let's try our first product. Our first product is Oxide Grime. Before we use our product, we shake them very carefully. Then we spread the product to the surface that we want to apply with the help of a brush. After the application of the product, we leave it for 20 minutes to dry. Our second rust type is Deep Oxide. Again, before use, we shake our product well. Then we spread the product to the surface that we want to apply with the help of a brush. As you can see, to make it better simulate to rust, the product has already some particles, roughness and protrusion inside. The aim here is to simulate the fluffy texture of rust. We leave our product to dry just like the previous one. Our third product is Copper Blue Patina. Here it simulates blue turquoise oxidation on copper surfaces. Again. Before we use, we shake our product well. Then we spread the product to the surface that we want to apply with the help of a brush. As we always do, we leave our product for 20 minutes to dry. Our fourth product is Rust Oxide Patina. Before use, we shake our product well and apply it to our surface freely with the help of a brush. Here, the more you apply the product, the more intense the effect you will get. That's why you can show your painting at the bottom by leaving gaps in places. If you close it completely, it'll rust completely. If you leave gaps in some places, the color below will come out. As we always do, we leave our product for 20 minutes to dry. Our fifth product is Black Oxide. Before use, we shake our product well. Then we spread the product to the surface with the help of a brush. We leave our product to dry for 20 minutes. Our sixth product is Black Oxide Transparent. The aim of this product is a little different. The product freezes in a more transparent state, reflecting the underlying colors at a higher rate. We shake it again and again, and with the help of a brush, we begin to apply liberally to the areas we want. As we always do, we leave our product for 20 minutes to dry. The seventh and the last product of our set comes as a powder, powdered oxide. Firstly, we open it and put it into a cup. As you can see, it's a powder like a pigment form. Then we add some drops of water and mix them together.
When it becomes the consistency that we want, we will start to apply it. Actually, we can explain our consistency as clay simply. Then we spread the product to the surface freely with the help of a brush. We leave our products for 20 minutes to dry. After our products have dried in enough time, we can start our rusting process. We have two products for it, Reactor 1 and Reactor 2. The difference between them is Reactor 2 produces a more intense and orange rust texture, while Reactor 1 produces more fresh rust texture. We can use them separately as well as mixing them together. Let's start with Reactor 1 first, then apply Reactor 2, and then the mixture of the two of them to show you the difference between all three solutions. We apply Reactor 1 to the surface freely, again with the help of a brush. Then we use Reactor 2 Finally we apply our third solution which is a mixture of both with the help of a brush The activation process will be completed after approximately 2 hours We can also apply it with the splashing technique to give different textures to the products. We can get different textures by applying our products to different points. We can get different rust tones by changing the ratios of our solutions. This means you don't need to mix them as 50-50. You can change the ratios of both reactors and apply them to get different results. In this powdered oxide, we can leave the product as it is, or we can get different tones with our reactors. That's it for today, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Happy modeling!